So now we're supposed to be talking about cookery and cookery writing and what makes a good cookery writer or perhaps what makes good cookery writing. I don't know, as a cook or chef, I think it's using accessible ingredients, number one. Yep. I have a sort of hard and fast rule that we don't put in the restaurant dishes, we don't put any more than three main ingredients on the plate. You know, you need to make sure that your recipes work, so I cook things sort of at least, you know, two to three times and I pass them on to testers and I pass them on to people who are professional testers and also to friends of mine to make sure they can be tested by everyone. But people want to be engaged, people want to, I think, tell me if I'm wrong, um, people, people want to read stories, people want to be seduced into cooking that recipe. And I think what people like, or what, what's, what makes them great, is actually depends on the reader, because some people do want to be guided through in bulleted points and every single thing. I personally would rather have a more evocative uh, style of writing, um, thinking of someone like Fergus Henderson. Why tell me to brown the meat? What does that mean? Does that mean that I cook it for 40 minutes <laughs> until it's really dark brown? Um, what does a handful mean if my hand's quite small? <laughs> you know? And I think it, it, it's sort of partly being aware of things like that, but it's also educating people as to sort of why they should follow doing something. Just having a blog is not enough. Just having a blog with loads of followers is not enough. Just having talent and amazing recipes is not enough. But one of the really important fundamentals that any publisher will talk about when we go into the meetings where we decide which books we might try to publish is, what is the platform of this person? You know, things change all the time, and I think each cookery writer has their own style, and, you know, even once they develop that style, you know, it's still an open book and up for change, I think. So. Whether you then actually cook that recipe is, is whether you, depends on whether you trust the source. So, um, I think that the book, the physical book, will continue to be a vital part of the home cook's armory. And as a publisher, what I want is the amazing food and the fabulous stories and, you know, the, the kind of that magical seduction thing. 